Hey guys, welcome to part 75 of Let's Play Nights of the Public to the Sith Lords. So we left off here in the cantina. I think we got the crystal by giving that lady over there a starport visa. And oh yeah, we were going to get some holodisc in this part. Bakel, we've heard a lot about you. No, move Hanhar. Stupid Wookiee. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. You have, um, you have something that belongs to Dagon Gint. I want to get it back. You? And just how do you intend to do that? First, I intend to cut you down in front of your men. Then after I kill you, I'll take it off your corpse. Those words will be your last. Alright, so I guess we're going to make trouble in the cantina. Let's just force storm it. I should take care of it. Even though that was some nice lag when I used Force Storm. And there we go. And there we go. Another open Starport Visa. An encrypted holodisk. So we have another Starport Visa we can use. Not sure what I'm going to use it for, though. I think anyone else in here would be for good. I know he wants one. I thought it was you. I served in the Mandalorian Wars with you. You're a Jedi, right? I don't remember you. We fought in the war together. I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. We, uh, we didn't win that battle. Why are you talking so quietly? I remember Daggery Minor. I'm out for myself now. The Republic is no concern to me. A pity. The Republic needs every capable person they can get. If you'll excuse me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he wants a Starport visa, and you'll get some good uh, light side points for giving him one, so screw that. Alright, he wanted one. If there was some dude who would pay us a lot of money for one, I guess I'll use it for that. Uh, you know what, I don't really feel like going over there, so we'll just move on and return these holodisks. Hey, Dagon. I haven't encrypted all of this yet. I won't be able to get a hold of my contact from the palace without it. I have the holodisks. Great going there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter? Best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in ISIS anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Um, I'm just gonna say I have something to do first. Ready. Better yet, call the whole thing off. Alice politics can get you killed these days. Because I'm not sure if there's anything else I need to do. Ah, I have to do that. See, I should have. Uh, I should have. Okay, it's a good thing I did that. I don't even know what I was saying now. I shouldn't try to talk and read at the same time. All right, I need to go get my money for the captains, and I guess I'll just go ahead and give that starport visa to somebody. I don't know who. Somebody that doesn't give me light side points. That's for sure. To the merchant quarter. Is that her? Why is she way over there? You're back to visit me. So all three captains have been removed from their posts. You're quite impressive. Here's the reward I promised. I will let my friends know of your able assistance. I'm certain we can return the favor at some point in the future. You've made a powerful ally, Jedi. Okay, we got more credits, more experience, and I guess that takes care of that quest. Should, anyway. Yep. Alright, so Starport Visa. 
I think that'll do it. Alright, I believe this dude over here... I said one and one. I didn't talk to him. You're an off-worlder? You came from the spaceport, right? Yes, I am. This is good news. You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Pretend he isn't here. Uh, why can you only sell to people with starport visas? General Vaclu is concerned about well-armed insurgents. They've had to get arms from somewhere. Not for me, of course, but all sales of weapons have been severely restricted. I can only sell to off-worlders like you that have the proper clearance. And now off-worlders can't come here because of the blockade and searches, but it's a wise policy. So you're happy about this, then? Of course. Soldiers are only doing their job. Even if it puts me out of business, I am happy. <laughs> Even if I'm forced to live off scraps in the street, I am so happy to do my part. <laughs> Long live General Vaclo. Okay, I guess he doesn't want one. He just, you have to have one to buy stuff from him? I don't know. Uh, I'm actually going to look at his stock, and eh, that sounded bad, but I will be right back. Alright, he didn't have very much. I didn't buy anything. Alright, I guess he does not want a Starport Visa. This guy probably... He's the one who would pay me, so... Let's just go ahead and give it to him. So, you're back. My offer still stands. 2,000 credits for an open Starport Visa. What will you do with it? Does it matter? Truly matter? No. I have no sad story. I just know people who will pay a great deal for an open starport visa. The credits are your share of my profits. The visas are very rare. But I have a feeling you may come across one. Hmm. I'll just give it to him. Uh. Yeah. So, just so happens I have one. This is excellent news. I'll gladly pay you 2,000 credits for it. It is worth more than 2,000 credits. It is worth more, indeed. The uh, highest I can pay is 3,000 credits. Here's the Starport Visa. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure is all mine. Alright, so I didn't get any dark side or light side points, but that's okay. I wasn't really planning on it. So what do I have to do now? I think that's it. It looks to be all of the side quests that I have. So I think we'll just move on. Let's go talk to Dagon. And yeah. I'm not sure if this is all the side quests that's, that are available in Onderon, but that's all I'm going to do. Hmm. We only have five minutes. Oh well. Let's uh let's just try anyway. Worst comes to worst, I'll just record two videos today. Alright, Dagon, we came all the way over here, so So you still intend to go through with it. I can schedule the meeting with your Jedi Master as soon as you like. Like I was saying though, once I use my contact, it may be in over your head. You may not be welcome back on Isis again. Contact the Jedi Master now. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the general has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Meeting 
is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. Yep. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. I have my ways, Master Kavar. Kavar, the famed Jedi guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. I have my ways as well. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Even an old friend. I want to know why I was cast out of the Jedi Order. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy. There's more to it than that. I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? Yes. Orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain. Only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must return to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of her! I won't let Kavar escape. So many humans in here, you can't blame me if one accidentally wanders into my line of fire. No, I cannot. Don't worry about it, they're just worthless humans. Alright, so I think I have time to kill these. I'm not sure if there's a cutscene afterwards, and if there is, then... Oh well. Yay, dark side points. Stop the fighting! Stop! Sergeant! Take care of the witnesses. I'm sorry we had to do that. I was curious. You ordered your men to attack me when I have done favors for Kavar. Appearances have to be maintained. And I'm afraid we don't have much time. You've helped out General Vaklu, and he understands how to show gratitude. We have allies. Terrible allies. They want you dead. However... The general believes you could ultimately be an even greater ally. But we have to maintain appearances. Do you understand? Who are you allied with? A Sith Lord. No idea of the name. Frankly, we had no idea who we were dealing with at first. And by the time we did, it was too late. You expect me to believe that's all you know? What I have told you is true. We only deal with their intermediaries. We know it's a Sith Lord, but little else. We need your help. The General believes we can make a new alliance that will be in both of our interests. Vaklu wants to control all of Onderon, and perhaps more down the road. The Republic's time is nearly over, and strong men like him will rule the age to come. You have shown that you are strong too, and he feels it inevitable that you become a force to be reckoned with. We'd like to ask your assistance in dealing with our ally, the Sith Lord. We have much to offer in return. Tell me of this deal. Eventually, we will attack Queen Talia's palace. Isis is an ancient city filled with artifacts from our darker past. Some of those might be especially useful to you. Besides, the Sith Lord wants you dead, and an enemy of our enemy. How does this work, then? For now, it's simple. We have to act like you're our enemy. When you leave this cantina, my men have orders to kill you. Awesome. There's no way they could possibly stand up to you. But they don't know that. Leave Isis, and don't come back until we send a message for you. If the payment I've offered you is insufficient, I assure you General Vaklu himself can offer you a satisfactory deal. You must make a choice. Will you support us or the Queen? Vaklu is a political animal, but he has never backed out of a deal. The Sith must have changed their arrangements substantially for him to consider betraying them. You can trust his offer. He's far more capable than Queen Talia is. I think allying with him is the best course. I sense no duplicity in this offer as well. Credibility is important. Okay, I'm running out of time, man. We're going to have to cut this short here. 
I will work with that clue. Excellent. You won't regret this decision. We will contact you. Like I told you, the men outside will try to kill you. We will talk later. Yay, they're going to try to kill me. Okay, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully I can cut it into 15 minutes and 30 seconds. But I will see you guys next time when we leave Andra and do other shit. So, see you later. Thanks for watching.